Bye guys. Okay, take out your Our World book and turn to page 28. Okay, so let's quickly go over this. So let's go over the grammar point. And let's do a quick review. I have to water the vegetables every day. I don't have to buy any more seeds. She has to plant the tomatoes in a sunny place. She doesn't have to weed today. Okay then, I have. So I have, you have, they have, have to. Okay, so depending on the pronoun, I have to, you have to, they have to. I don't have to. They don't have to. We don't have to. So I have to. I don't have to. She has to. He has to. And the negative doesn't. She doesn't have to. She he doesn't have to. Okay, so be very careful when you're changing, okay, for the pronoun. Right then, kids. So, let's quickly go over the sentences, okay? So, let's read number one together. We've already completed them, so let's just read them together. The tomorrows are ripe. She has to pick them. Number two. I don't have to water the green vegetables, the green beans when it rains. Number three. My father has to weed the garden so vegetables can grow. And number four, farmers have to use a lot of water for plants. Farmers have to use a lot of water for plants. Okay, guys, I told you the last time to complete activity two. Okay, so here we go then, guys. So let's just go over together as a class. So number one. I have to plant these seeds this week. Or, if you don't, I don't have to plant these seeds this week. Number two, my brother is stronger than me, so he has to dig. My brother is stronger than me, so he has to dig. Number three, Louise has to weed the garden today. Louise has to weed the garden today. Louise doesn't have to weed the garden today. Number four. My mom has to water the plants at home. Negative. My mom doesn't have to water the plants at home. Number five. Farmers often have to buy new seeds. Because they plant the seeds every so often. So they've got to buy new seeds so they can grow new crops. Number six. He has to pick tomatoes this week. Negative. He doesn't have to pick tomatoes this week. Well done. Right then, guys. Good job. Okay. So, kids. Let's take a look. At the photos on page 29 okay and think about what vocabulary they will use so let's take a look at the picture number one okay so what do you have to do so what is that what is that it's a what it's an apple okay so what do you have to do I have to pick the apple Okay, next one. Take a look. What are those? We've got some pots. We've got some seeds. Okay. We've got some, a trowel. So, picture number two. What do you have to do? What do you have to do? I have to plant seeds. So, let's go back to number one. What do you have to do? I have to pick the apple. Number two. What do you have to do? I have to plant seeds. And picture number three. Picture number three. What do you think that is? So what do you have to do? Picture number three. I have to water the plants. I have to water 
the plants. So let's go over picture one and picture number two. I'll ask the question, what do you have to do? Use I have to. So picture number one, boys, what do you have to do? I have to pick the apple. Girls, number two, take a look at that picture. What do you have to do? I have to plant the seeds. I have to plant the seeds. And boys and girls, look at picture number three. What do you have to do? I have to water the plants. I have to water the plants. Excellent. So let's sing them all together. Here we go. Number one, I have to pick the apple. Number two, I have to plant the seeds. Number three, I have to water the plants. Okay, let's take a look at activity three. Okay, uh, activity four. So on Monday, okay, I usually have to get ready for work. You guys have to get ready for school, okay, because your, you, your work is to study. So I have to work, get up on Monday morning, and I've got to get ready for work. So once I get ready, put on my coat, and I walk to the MRT station. So I've got about a 10-minute walk, a 7, 10-minute walk to the MRT station, depending if I can get past the traffic bikes. And then after that, I have to get on the MRT. And I take two stops from Jing'an to uh, Yong'an, and then from Yong'an to Dingxi. Then I have to get off the MRT. If I don't get off, I'll go to the next, which is uh, Gutin. And I don't want to go to Gutin. So I get off at Jing'an, uh, Dingxi. Then once I get off, I have to walk again. So I have to walk out of the MRT and then I have to walk to school. Okay? So I don't have to get work ready for work on Saturdays and Sundays. Yes. But so on Monday morning, I usually have to get ready for work. I have to walk to the MRT. I have to get on the MRT. I have to wait for two stops, then I have to get off the MRT, and then once I get off the MRT, I get out of the MRT and I walk to work. I don't have to get ready for work on Saturdays and Sundays. So what do you usually do on Monday morning? What do you have to do on a Sunday? Okay. What do you have to do on a Sunday? Most of the time. Usually means most of the time. Have to. Don't forget, you've got to use have to. Okay? I usually have to. Most of the time, I have to. Okay? Don't forget to use have to in your responses. So, guys, number four. In the morning, I have to ba 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 number two in the afternoon i have to do, 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 do. in the evening i have to d d d d on the weekends i don't have to ba 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 on sunday i don't have to so you can use i don't have to and i have to so describe five things that you usually do at home or at work. So one, two, three, the first three in the morning, in the afternoon, in the evening. Tell me some things that you do have to do at school. Some things that you don't have to do at school. And on the weekends and on Sunday, tell me some things that you have to do at home. Okay, so. You guys will have different answers, okay? So I want you guys to write down one, two, three, four, five sentences, okay? Five things you usually have to do at home or at school. Put in a couple of I don't have to either, two also. Okay, so what do you have to do in the morning? I have to walk my little brother to the bus stop. So think about things in the morning, Monday to Friday. Tell me some things Monday to Friday in the afternoon and uh, Monday to Friday in the evening. Weekends, Saturday and Sunday, what do you have to do? A Sunday, what do you have to do? Okay, 
So you can practice that. So in the morning, I have to get ready to go to school. In the afternoon, I have to study English class. In the evening, I have to do my homework. On the weekends, I don't have to go to school. On Sunday, I have to review my schoolwork. Okay, so you think of different things like that. Okay, guys? Well done. Right then, kids. Okay, so activity number five. You ask mommy and daddy, brothers and sisters, what they have to do. So, for example, uh, I have a dog. I have to walk it every day. Have, have to. I have a dog. I have to walk it every day. When I say that I have a dog, that just means that the dog belongs to me. So I have a book. I have a computer. I have a backpack. That backpack belongs to you. It's yours. Okay. When I say that I have to walk the dog, that means that it's my responsibility. Okay. Whether I want to or not, I have to walk the dog. If I don't walk the dog, it's going to do its business in my apartment and I don't want that. So it's my responsibility to walk my dog. If I don't walk the dog, there are consequences. There are actions what will happen for not doing that. Okay. So guys, I want to give you a, for example, and we can practice this. Uh, I have a book. So what do you have to do with a book? I have a book. I have to read it. Well done. Or you can say, I have a book. I have to write in it. I have a pet hamster. Okay, then. I've got a pet hamster. What do I have to do with a pet hamster? Think of all the things that you are responsible for having that pet hamster. So what are you responsible of having? I have to give it water every day. I have to feed it. I have to clean its cage. Okay? I have to play with it. Okay? If it's sick, what do you have to do? I have to take it to the vet. Now then, I have a little brother. Okay? I have a little brother. He's my little brother. What do, some things you have to do for little brothers? I have to help him brush his teeth. I have to help him with his homework. I have to tie his shoelaces. I have to play with him. Okay? Uh, okay, so if you're a girl and you have long hair, what do you have to do with long hair? So, I have to comb it every day. I have to wash it every day, if not every day, every other day. Okay, and I have to cut it every two months. Okay, so I have a book. I have to read it. I have a pet hamster. I have to feed it. I have a little brother. I have to help him with his homework. I have to uh, play with him. I have long hair. I have to comb it every day. Okay, so you guys ask and ask questions. So I have a book. Oh, for example, you say to mommy, mommy, you have, um, you have long hair. Okay, mommy, what do you have to do? She might say, I have to wash my hair every day. I have to comb my hair every day. Go to your daddy and say, daddy, uh, you have a car. What do you have to do? Oh, I have to clean it once a week. I have to take you guys to school. Okay, things like this. So you ask mom, dad, and ask questions. I have to. Okay. Well done, kids. Good job. Okay, let's turn to our next page. Let's turn to our next page. So let's review some of new vocabulary you've learned during the class, okay? So we're going to use the vocabulary to talk about how often we do things. How often is just another way of saying how many times. 
How often? How many times? So we've got one, two, three, four, five. So we use special words to answer the question, how often? So one time, two times, three times, four times, five times. Okay? So one time, we usually say it's more common to say once than to say one time. So once, once a week, once a day, okay, once a month. For two times, we usually say twice, twice a week, twice a day, okay. Three times, we don't say thrice, which you could, but we usually just say uh, da, 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 three times. So one time, we usually say once, two times, we usually say twice, three times, that's okay, three times a week, four times a week, five times a week, okay, that's okay, okay, so from three, four times, five times, that's cool, I have to take the bus five times a week, I have to get up early five times a week, understand, so one time, we don't say I, I go to school one time a week, we just say once. Two times we say twice. So remember that. Once for one time. Twice for two times. Three, four, five times is okay. Okay. Right then, guys. So let's take a look at page 30. Okay. Let's take a look at page 30. Okay. Look at the top of our chart. We've got S-M-T-W-T-F-S. So those are the days of the week. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven days, seven columns. The first one is Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. Okay? So each letter at the top stands for a day of the week. Now imagine that this chart is for you. This chart is for you. Okay? So guys, how often do you water the garden on Sunday? How often do you water the garden on Sunday? I water the garden one, two, three, four times a day on Sunday. Well done. Monday, how many times do you eat fruit? How many times a day on Monday do you eat fruit? I eat fruit four times a day. Now, I'm going to change it up. How many times do you water the garden a week? How many times do you water the garden a week? So you need to look at the top, Sunday, Monday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and count. So how many times do you water the garden a week? So let's have a look. Sunday, Tuesday, and Thursday. So how many times is that? Three. So I water the garden three times a week. Three times a week. How many times, how many times do you go to the market a week? How many times do you go to the market a week? So I go to the market on Fridays. So I go to the market once a week, once a week. How many times do you take vegetables to Sue? How many times do you take vegetables to Sue? I take vegetables to Sue once a week. 
And what day do you take vegetables to soup? On a Sunday. And how many times do you weed the garden a week? How many times do you weed the garden a week? So look for weed the garden. Oh, a month. Let's say it. How many times do you weed the garden a month? Twice a month. And that's on a Sunday. Okay, twice a month on a Sunday you will weed the garden. Well done. Okay then guys, so what I want you to do for this time is I want you to practice the chart and ask questions. How often do you da 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 da? How often do you eat fruit? How many times a day do you water the the garden on Tuesday? How many times a week do you go to the market? Okay, so you need to practice this. Practice makes perfect. Next time we'll continue page 30, but we'll also do the activity below, the sentences, complete those. Okay, guys, great job. Keep studying. Look after mom and dad, because mom and dad look after you. Stay safe. Lots of love. Take care. Goodbye. Bye, kids.